As car got towed in as a no start, uh, I just took the timing belt cover off and you can see that the belt is all loose. Uh, it looks like it was replaced before at some point in time, aftermarket belt, Conti Tech. Um, it looks like the tensioner let loose. You can see the spring behind the tensioner uh, winding, winding its way out, but you can also see that the belt is chewed up here. So um, my guess is the tensioner failed, uh, but it could also be that something got in there. But um, these timing belts are covered fairly decently, so the only thing that could have come loose is one of these bolts, which I don't see them being that being the case. Water pump bolts, they, they seem to be in order too from what I can see. Uh, it could be t tensioner bearings or like I said, this spring when it let loose, it got caught on the belt possibly. Uh, regardless, um, we're going to have to pull this thing apart, put a new belt on and see what happens in terms of uh, engine damage, if there is any or not. But you can see this is definitely totally loose. Um, and six years, 120,000 kilometers is what we recommend for timing belt intervals. Uh, you can see obviously the belt looks nice and smooth still. Teeth are looking good aside from the damage there. So uh, some people say that six years is a bit early, but you know if it can save you an engine, why why wouldn't you want to change it at a, an earlier interval? Uh, yeah. They rev it a little bit. Oh, sorry. I, I, no, no, I thought that was a... Uh, yeah. a, a little higher. More. Okay. Yeah, so motor sounds good. Yeah, we'll do the uh, water pump, everything else on Monday.